I hate the dentist. I hear it every day. Hey, welcome back to I Hate the Dentist. Dental x-rays, why, when, the types, and how safe are they? So first, let's tackle why. So dental x-rays are gonna help us diagnose, monitor, and manage your oral health. So even with magnification, the special lights, the chairs, all these tools behind me, as a dentist, we can't see everything. You know, I'm not Superman. I don't even know if Superman has x-ray vision, honestly, but there have certainly been times when I look in somebody's mouth and everything looks great, but the x-rays show a cavity or infection. So x-rays are gonna help us identify things that we can't see with our naked eyes. And many times, they help us keep small problems from turning into big problems. So when should you get x-rays? You know, your dentist is gonna determine your needs based on your oral health. But commonly, x-rays are taken for three reasons. The first is to gain a baseline. So we wanna evaluate and diagnose your oral health. So an example is you're a new patient in an office or you haven't been seen by a dentist in many years. The second would be periodic x-rays to monitor your oral health. So these are the ones we just mentioned. They're based on your risk factors for dental disease. And lastly, x-rays are commonly taken for treatment planning or emergency needs. So you crack the tooth, you're having pain, or you need extensive dental work. So if you've had a history of cavities, and oh, by the way, you suck down a six pack of Mountain Dew every day, you know, you need x-rays more frequently than a patient who's never had a cavity, and they're wild and crazy night, there are some kale chips, okay? So now let's get on to type of x-rays. So let's break it down into two categories. We have outside the mouth or extraoral and inside the mouth or intraoral. Let's start with extraoral. They're usually pretty easy for most patients because you're gonna sit or stand in a machine that moves around you. The two most common extraoral images in dentistry are panoramic x-rays or panos and cone beam computed tomography or CBCT. First, let's talk about the pano. This is a large two-dimensional image of your entire mouth and all the teeth and surrounding bone and tissues. A panoramic x-ray are useful for checking tooth position, eruption patterns, bone health, pathology, and trauma. Second is a CBCT. This is just a fancy x-ray that results in a similar image to the pano, but instead of a two-dimensional image, it's a three-dimensional three rendering of your mouth and related structures. The reasons for the exam are almost identical to the panel, but CBCTs are very common in treatment planning for dental implant placement and restoration. So now on to intraoral x-rays. These are the ones that are taken in the mouth. So the most common in the dental office are bite wings and periapical x-rays. These x-rays are a little more cumbersome for the patient because the film or sensor is gonna be placed in your mouth. And to be honest, the process is similar for both types. The only difference is the position of the sensor or the film. So again, the two most common are gonna be a bite wing and a periapical x-ray. Bite wings show the upper and lower teeth and they're gonna help diagnose cavities and bone health. A periapical x-ray shows the entire tooth from the chewing surface to the tip of the root. Very useful to examine the structures that support the teeth. So that covers our type of x-rays. Finally, we have how safe are dental x-rays. So when we're dealing with radiation, we have to make sure the benefits are gonna outweigh the risks. And first and most importantly, the amount of radiation you receive from a dental x-ray is very low in comparison to most medical x-ray exams. But don't just take my word. I'm gonna direct you to the ADA website referencing dental x-rays in the comments section below. And it's gonna provide you radiation doses and comparison numbers. But remember, the radiation exposure due to dental x-rays represents a very minor contribution to the overall exposure from all sources, man-made and natural. So as mentioned before, the decision has to be made based on your oral health and risk factors. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comment sections and thanks for tuning in to I Hate the Dentist. I hate the dentist, I hear it every day.